They were like, because they, because I. Cause they, cause I <laughs>
God, I apologise. Uh, we're back in the car now um, after a decent little session with a 28 boys, a little upper strength. Nothing too mad. A um, bit more content creating than anything, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it was good to see the boys, good little catch up. Um, yeah, London 10k on the weekend with Pro Direct running and Sockney, so that'll be a good little experience. I know I've got a parcel waiting for me indoors with a kit, so um, they said something about running shorts, um, the split ones, and I'm a bit scared because I've never really worn short shorts before on a on like a long run or an event. So yeah, I don't know how my legs are going to fare during that. I might have to yeah, I might have to trim them up for a little bit of it, aerodynamic or aerodynamic. Um, I need to stop saying um and but and things like that to fill gaps in sentences when I'm talking to talking to the camera because I know it's not good. I was meant to do it again then. Um, fuck. But yeah, like like seeing the boys today and like seeing how confident G is with the camera in terms of like just getting the tripod out and setting it up while we're sat there drinking coffee is like something I really need to like get my head around because like even just filming this I waited to get back to my car rather than filming it outside like granted I'm on a busy road so I didn't want too much car noise but it is literally just the confidence of picking up a camera and just putting it out and I, like, I looked around at people when he had the camera out and a few people looked and then like they don't even batter an eyelid they just carry on after so it's yeah it's crazy I put, put up a story about it um, just saying about like just trying to do stuff and doing something new and not caring about what other people think and it is literally like that like yeah people might give you funny looks and look at you weird but really people don't they don't care and like half the people that you see who you might think could give you funny looks probably end up on like gym talk or end up on instagram and they're looking at people and influencers even though i hate that word and hate calling myself that but all these people are on social media and they're watching someone like obviously it might not be you but in some regard they're watching somebody who might vlog or make videos and stuff like that so everyone's consuming it's just you just like you just have to break that mental barrier of like getting a tripod out in a gym or walking around london holding a camera talking to it talking to yourself and like for that moment of embarrassment and like that anxiety of getting a camera out and talking it's like that does soon go um so yeah, I think I'm saying that more for myself, to be honest, just to try and talk myself around because I need to get better at it. And I am getting better the more videos I film or like the more stuff, like content I'm trying to film and talk and do bits with the YouTube and Instagram and voiceovers and stuff. It's, it is very difficult and I just need to build my confidence around it. And the only way I can do that is by repetitively doing it. So yeah hopefully as time goes on it gets a lot easier for me and i can start giving people a little bit more of an insight into what happens more day-to-day -day stuff because youtube essentially is better for that giving people a little bit more um of insight in day-to-day -day stuff whereas like Inst instagram and tiktok is more quick consumable content trying to make like it's hard to give you a real deep insight into day-to-day -day stuff whereas this is a little bit more personal and like you can build more of an attachment um attachment with people and stuff and like your followers which is yeah good I'm enjoying it it's not say difficult but yeah I'm gonna hurry up and go home now because I really want to open this parcel so I'll see you at home bye cheese tax Rex come oh why's that gone all funny why's that not funny getting dripping Boy, welcome. Oh, shock, boy. Melissa just made a little ham and cheese croissant and some fruit for me and Rexy boy. Why are you sad? Why are you sad? Do you want a bit? Melissa's embarrassed at the YouTube. 
So I'm going to be in it. What? No. You're going to be in it. All right, I'm going to head out for a quick 10k, I think, and then get back and go through this parcel delivery from Pro Direct ahead of Sunday's race. Um, I've already kind of opened it up, and I know that there's the soccer endorphin elites in there, which I'm absolutely buzzing to give a try because um, yeah, I've got the Pro 3s, Pro 4s, Speed 2s as well. That was my first go with. Um, trying something from Sockany and ever since I've always raved about them. Um, so yeah, I'll probably have to go through and wear that race day outfit before Sunday just to give it a wash, make sure you don't chafe or anything like that. So yeah, I'm going to head out for a quick run now and then I'll see you back for a little unboxing. Kit through for Sunday. The Dolphin Elite, I think. Some short shorts. Nice little jump. I think maybe a racing singlet. Not sure what else that is. They're uh, they're tight, aren't they? Nice stuff. I've never normally found by looking looking vests. That's an excellent as well. Um, that is a tap right on my chair. Oh, I've got crap. <laughs> <laughs> 